knowledge here. Intisad and Learning Festival is a very useful uh, platform for uh, allowing adults to find out in the county um, what's going on so they can either drop in for an information day and it's just information. A lot of adults would find it a very daunting experience to come back. They might not have had a particularly good experience the first time around and especially the new um, batch of people, the men, who would never have been unemployed for the first time in their lives. They're now thinking, I have to go back to education. So the festival allows them to come in um, find out what's there for them and then we can help them with the next step if they'd like to return back to education. I concentrated on the construction and I went scaffolding and done my ticket in a bally format and that, you know, so uh, but then the construction died out, dried out then, you know, and so I just discovered this course by accident, so uh, I thought it might be interesting, you know, you know because uh, I'm man of the soil, as the fellow says, you know, so uh, like we used to grow all our own stuff at home in the home place in Longwood, you know. Um, in January last year, the end of January, um, after a very cold winter, I was instrumental with a group of other women in setting up um, a Grow to Self group in uh, North Meath. And from there, uh, we were invited by Ainthus to participate in a planning session in Dublin. And I met Eilish Coyne uh, during that, and uh, Eilish was very interested in the fact that I was interested in teaching people to grow their, their own and invited me along to give a talk in Kells and from there um, I was invited to um, start teaching here in Navan. I think it's very important for people to tell their friends, you know, to, you know, to come to these, these open days, to listen to people's experiences because if it wasn't for me going to the open day I would never have applied for college, ever. It just completely opened my eyes and it, my confidence just went through the roof um, and then when I left after four years and I graduated just last November it was honestly, I think, probably the most emotional day I've ever had in my life. It was fantastic. Well, we're getting um, a huge range of people, all ages, not only our own members, but people from outside of the area. And it's nice that we have opened up um, the college and just to let everyone see what is on offer. And we're running a huge range of courses from cookery on a budget, um, style and image, gardening, um, environmental um, issues and there's a huge range um, as well as computers and uh, the computers is very very popular at the moment and we're doing a course actually called Computers for the Terrified. My three sons were away, yes. one of them was in England, one in America and one in Australia yes. and I thought the only chance I have to keep in touch with these boys is to, is to go to get a computer which I did and um, it was the girl next door used to help me when I had run into difficulty. Why didn't that email go? And she said, oh, you didn't have a dot there and you should have and this, all that sort of thing. So, I, I, you know, I, I just got it like that, you know, it's the only way that I... Then I did, we've done a few courses here at Green On, which have helped me greatly. And, um, you know, I mainly use it to Google things, so I need information. I go and I just came to go to Google and I get what information I need. And I find it's great. It's good, really. And then this, the emails are, are brilliant, really, you know. The ladies here today are doing um, Easter eggs, which is polystyrene eggs, and they're covering it with a thing called, it's a technique called deco patch which is um, basically covering your item with this, like, tissue paper. It's a little stronger than tissue paper. You can turn them into decorations for Christmas, or you can use them for Easter, as I said, and make little trees, hang them on your trees. And there's also a um, possibility for people making them for selling them at uh, craft fairs and markets and this type of thing. I started off, I was a very athletic outdoor person, but unfortunately, through ill health, I had to give it up, and I decided I'd go into crafts. My mother being a craft person, so I think I took after her. And uh, then I came down and I learned a lot down here. Um, and it's changed me because I was able to teach then. I was, I was able to do sufficient work that I could go out and teach and pass on my, whatever I learned to others. Ainthus are very, very important to us and they have given us this opportunity to showcase everything that we can do and uh, this has, is, has been going on now for the past few days and it will go on until Friday. And the number of people who have been given the opportunity to come up here and uh, to see our ladies demonstrating their various arts and crafts and it's just fantastic and it just gives them an idea of what they can aspire to.